So the show is coming to an end, and my understanding is there's there's no possible way to meet our obligations, and it's going to end in two ways. Either the government says we're not good for the money, default, or they're going to inflate their way through this. Um, or both. Or both. Um, so the effect on your average person, you know, the, the retired people, the people who are just graduating college, what's life going to be like? Well, the effect on the average person and now has already been felt with the, the Fed's uh, uh, extraordinarily irresponsible uh, monetary policy has created interest rates close to zero. So anybody who wants to save money in a normal way is unable to, to save money because there's nothing in it for them. It's uh, price inflation is higher than the rate of interest you can get anywhere unless you're ta willing to take on extraordinary risk. And I do think uh, uh, we, we had today in today's newspaper, in the front page of today's newspapers on this very day, is uh, all the proof we need that there is a bubble in the stock market. And that was Ben Bernanke was out there saying there's no bubble in the stock market. He also said there's, there's no bubble in the real estate market in 05, 06, and 07. And so you know there's a bubble in the stock market. And that's so uh, the a lot of people have made a lot of money because the Fed has, has inflated the stock market uh, into a bubble, but it's going to burst too again. And so uh, the average person is already being felt. There's no savings. Uh, your savings is being wiped out by uh, price inflation. And so we don't have hyperinflation, but we have some. And so you're losing your money. And a lot, there are millions of Americans who are scared to death to get, to get into the stock market or real estate. So where, where else can you go? Uh, put your money under the mattress. And so, and we are going to have price inflation eventually because the Fed has been pumping up uh, too much money for too long uh, to not have that. Sure. Uh, my understanding from the interviews I've done is uh, there's going to be sudden waves of inflation that come over in, into our money supply um, until we just have had our limit. And some of those waves are like foreign countries dumping their dollar reserves onto our market. Yeah, a lot of these dollars have, been, have ended up overseas, and so that, that has moderated price inflation here. But yeah, whenever a, if a country like China would start to repatriate these dollars, that's when we'll really start feeling the inflation. And also, uh, the Fed has a, a, a scheme whereby uh, uh, banks can get a hold of excess reserves virtually for free, and then the Fed pays them a little bit of interest. So it's uh, risk-free money. For banks, and we're talking, uh, you know, many hundreds of billions of dollars of, of reserves, trillions of dollars, and so uh, it's some. But someday, the Fed is going to end that policy, and it will, it will no longer be worth the while of the banks, the big banks, anyway, to hold on to all these excess reserves. They're going to start lending them in in much greater volume, and uh, and that's what will ignite the inflation, the price inflation, and interest rates will go up, bond prices will go down. So all those people who've been buying uh, supposedly safe. Uh, bonds, government bonds and otherwise, will find that the price of their bonds is going down through the floor and they're going to lose a lot of money.